Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about the Nikon Z7. Yes, I did get it in this week. Now, this is not my copy. This is something my brother and I rented just to do some testing on. But anyway, specifically in this video, we're looking at the FTZ adapter with third-party lenses such as Sigma and Tamron. Now, I will say this right out of the bat that the camera with these third-party lenses actually feel pretty good. And I was surprisingly impressed by the Sigma's performance especially. But anyway, we're gonna be talking about the Sigma and the Tamron lenses. And I'm just gonna preface this by saying that just because these lenses may or may not have worked doesn't mean that all Tamron or Sigma lenses may or may not work, right? So just, you know, take this with a grain of salt, but do know that one works, one kind of works, and so we're gonna talk about that right now. So first let's talk about the Sigma. So I put the Sigma on the uh, Z7 with the FTZ adapter and right out of the bat, it worked great. Actually, the autofocus was surprisingly accurate, which is really good. And um, you know, we've been hearing a lot of things about the Z7's uh, autofocus system and mixed reviews on that, but surprisingly it was very good. Even at 1.4, I got very sharp images and um, I was just overall very happy with how the Sigma handled with the Z7 and the FTZ adapter. Autofocus seemed to work fine. Um, the auto exposure seemed to work fine. All of that, perfect. It, felt like a native Nikon F-mount lens like it should um, on this camera. But when we went to the Tamron, we found some major problems. Now, I use the Tamron 35 1.8 VC lens. When I put it on, initially it comes up as if the camera is going to, you know, the lens is gonna work with the camera just fine. But I found when I started to autofocus, the camera started to glitch out. Sometimes the screen would go completely black and it would say there was no lens on the camera. Other times it would basically just kind of like the screen would like, you know, spaz out or whatever. So I was curious though, if I could use manual focus with that lens and the answer is yes. You can use manual focus, no problem. You can do all the same stuff, adjust the ISO and the aperture and the shutter speed. But with the Tamron 35 VC, and the FTZ, FTZ adapter, it does not work with autofocus. So do keep that in mind. Once again, like I said, this does not mean that all Tamron lenses won't work you know, with the FTZ adapter, but I will say that this could definitely tell us how the other Tamron lenses who have autofocus will perform. So um, just keep that in mind, but I just wanted to give you guys that update to let you know that the Sigma appeared to work just fine, no problem, but the Tamron doesn't seem to work with the FTT adapter if you're wanting to do autofocus. Guys, thanks for watching and definitely expect more on the Nikon Z7. We're gonna have some more testing videos come out. Um, we're gonna have a comparison between the Z7 and the D850, and we're also going to have an initial review come out on the Nikon Z7 on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Hope everyone has a great day and always remember Remember to get out there and take some photos and just do what you love, all right? Balingal out.